Good afternoon, everybody. I have not put a camera in front of my face since I've been here. Um, I'm headed to lunch now with my cousin Matt. It is 85 degrees here. I have the AC blasting, pretending it's sort of fall in my little turtleneck. My mom made my favorite meal for dinner. It's pepper steak. It's kind of Asian soy sauce inspired. Look who's back. Look who's back at it again. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. And if you know this tile, you have been watching us. Hey, you're not supposed to go up there. Stay down here. Good evening. I'm hanging out with Katie tonight and the dogs so they can have a play date. And because Eve was not feeling good last night and I thought maybe if she hung out with her doggy friends, that would perk her up. I'll tell you more about that later. This is the night that we have planned. Dustin's at work, right? Yes. He's done late, right? I have actually no idea. Um, so we're gonna watch, I don't know, Food Network right now. Eve was sick last night. I came home, not even super late, from Katie and Dustin's. Contrary to what we typically do, and I go home at like 2 or 3 in the morning, I went home he at 11. He wouldn't sit on the couch. Yeah, I wouldn't. He, he just stood. I was like, sit. He's like, I can't sit. I was like, I if I sit, sit, I'm going to fall asleep or I'm not going to leave. And I had to go home and edit, and I just needed to go get ready for the week, which I didn't do, because when I got home, Eve was just like exhausted, like 100% lethargic, and had this look on her face. Like, you know if you own a pet, you know how your animal looks when they're not 100%. I opened the door and the second I opened the door I was like, what is wrong with Eve? <laughs> um, so I edited the vlog real quick and then I just snuggled her and I was up until almost three in the morning with her because her stomach was making all kinds of weird noises. She would not get out of her crate and she doesn't sleep in her crate. She sleeps in the bed with us. So I literally had to like pick her up and like lift her out of there. She like flopped on the bed. And I spent the rest of the night and all day today stressing about it, but she seems better. But mm -hmm. I was like, Katie, I'm going to come over and our dogs are going to hang out because they're going to cheer her up. But she's looking better now. I spent all day stressing at work, Eve, thinking about you nonstop, and I came home and she came trotting over to the door, so. I don't know, maybe it was a 24 hour virus or bug or something, but something was up. Eve is comfy, she's feeling better. She looks extra blobbish. I think we're gonna get her, her shaved down in the next two weeks. But I love her like this, cause you can't even see her legs are sticking out like a little cutie, but her hair's so long and she's so ovalish that you can't even see them. And she uses her front paws as a, as a pillow. Oh, sorry for disturbing you. Say hello to your fans. They love you. They wish you a speedy recovery. Oh, look at that tired face. I don't know, it just feels huge. Don't mind Katie, she's having a early life crisis. Cause My she, house feels different. She came back from a cruise and she thinks her house is different. She thinks it's not her house anymore. Oh the dogs are done, but they literally just got done having a rampaging party. Look at this cool conch shell. I'm super mad because, did I ever show you the conch shell I got from Naples? Nope. It's like half the size of this thing and not as fancy and cool. Dustin had a tie down like <gasps> What do you think? You live here, Eve? Those times are over. He went 25 feet for these? Uh-huh. And he ate a... Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, there was a... So, like, they cut out the conch. So, wait. So, basically what they do is they take the hammer, the back side of the hammer, uh -huh. and they knock it, and then they take a knife. It's really not nice. I couldn't watch it. You'll see it on the vlog. Um, but... <laughs> I couldn't really watch it. And then they have this thing called like a conch noodle, so it like looks like a clear little like nerd's rope type deal. Yeah. Ooh. And uh, Dustin ate one. I couldn't even believe uh, it. Is that gonna be in the vlog? Uh, yeah, actually. Oh. They cut the conches out, but then they made conch salad, and then like people Ooh. ate it. You like, didn't eat it, right? No. Dustin didn't eat it either. I'd, I'd have eaten that. I'd have eaten that for sure, but not. The people who ate it said it was really good, but the what consistency like? is similar to like scallops and Dustin doesn't like scallops. Um, I don't know what a scallop <laughs> is. I know what a scallop <laughs> is, but I don't know what a scallop. <laughs> what is a scallop, Padme? Is that why you made that face when I said scallop? <laughs> yeah. What do you call it? Scallop. 
Put a comment down below. Are you a scallop or a scallop? <laughs> this is what happens when you're basically Katie and Dustin's uh, long lost child <laughs> while your wife is away. They make you dinner. <laughs> and my dog's been eating it's their really dog's good. food. Delicious. What kind of sauce is that? I can't tell because this ziti is like veggie ziti. It's like green. <laughs> it's Alfredo. Oh, I love Alfredo. This is definitely <laughs> our generation's issues right here. <laughs> Kitty's. It's so dumb. It's Kitty's. Level, but it's not. She's leveling her, her decorations with her cell phone. <laughs> that is not. <laughs> that's not level. No. It's not. It's almost time to go home. It's almost time to go. Eddie said he was on his way home, but he must be getting Panera from that new location in Guam. Where is it though, for real, not in Guam? I don't know. It's not one around here, so he must either be at the- You were joking. I literally didn't know. God. This is what happens. My life turns to shambles when my wife leaves me. For days, we miss you. We miss you. He misses you. Aurora misses, look at that little. Yeah. Cocked arm, that's so cute. Her <laughs> eyebrows kill me every time. Oh, are you the cutest dog in the whole wide world? But, are you the cutest but, dog but, in the but, whole wide world? He's a contender, but. but <laughs> Look at this. Padman's just pumped. Oh, what? Do the spin, do the spin dance, do the spin dance. She could do it without you holding. Alrighty, so here it is 8 36. I have a trick that I just put pop in the freezer for like. A half hour and it gets cold really fast, but you really need to remember that it's in there, otherwise it'll explode and you won't be happy. So I plan on vlogging a lot more while I was here, um, visiting and whatnot, um, but a lot of my trip has just been at home with my mom and Christina and Jenna and Violet um, because Violet has been running a fever the entire time I was here. Um, we went to the emergency room last night because it was really high. Um, we were there until almost three in the morning, but they didn't find any sort of infection and they're just like, you know, it's a virus. Um, not sure what it's coming from, but to just manage the fever and she has antibiotics. Um, so it was kind of, Peter really wanted me to take a break from vlogging and from editing and such. And that is what I got. I know I've mentioned before that my mom is the queen of seasonal treats. So for my side of the vlog tonight, I'm going to show you all of the different things I've been indulging in since I've been here. So these are cookies and cream M&Ms. They taste basically like brownies. They're so good. These are the caramel apple pops. I know I mentioned these the other day when we got some in the mail. Those ones were, these ones are granny, or no, these ones are green apple, and ours were red. I've never seen the other ones before. And then these are candy corn M&M's. We have Oreos and those cookies. And these are Edmunds Donuts pumpkins. Today was actually the first time I tried these. They are addicting. Candy corn, obviously, we have the same container. I just wanted to show you guys the pitch black Mountain Dew, but I'm pretty sure I drank it all, so there's none to show you. Also, I already had basically one and a half of these, so. And I've been here two days. Night to the vlog. Grant, this is your first appearance in the vlog since I've been here. It's my first appearance in a long time. I know y'all miss me. I miss <laughs> you too, everybody. We'll be back in November. Ooh, he opened up a can of pop. Second pop in an hour. <laughs> you brought joy into my life. Into all our lives. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me and Grant get each other when it comes to that. Partners. 50-50. So yeah, we're just gonna watch our snake and lace. He's gonna do homework. And I go home tomorrow night. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. I am home now with Eve. 
gonna go edit, so I'm gonna sign off now. But look who came in the mail. This is a baggie for my second microphone so I can officially be legitimate and interview and have co-hosts on my Vloggers View podcast. I'll put a link down below. Check it out. It's on all the podcast distributions and the YouTube. So it's different than this YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed to that one and you want to watch it rather than listen, you can do that through that. But Sarah saved the vlog today because I just kind of hung out with Katie taking care of Eve, keeping an eye on her, but she's doing much better now. And uh, Sarah got to show you a lot about what was going on back in Chicago, what was going on with poor Violet, and all the delicious candy. So thank you so much. Sarah comes home tomorrow, and I can't wait. You will see her in tomorrow's vlog, and it's going to be glorious. I love you all. Thank you for always joining us. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>